Hello, today we're going to look at the second of eight miracles in the Old Testament involving water that may point forward to Christ's salvation and teach us something about the work of God's Spirit. And today's miracle is Noah's flood. Please note that this is just a reflection and amusing, if you like. Uh, you need not accept everything in this video. Um, it's more of a reflection and designed to get us thinking. I will not be focusing on the primary significance of this biblical story, which is, of course, the ark, uh, which, through which there was rescue from the floods of judgment. Clearly a foreshadowing of Christ, how that in Christ there is safety and rescue from the coming judgment. But I'm going to be focusing more on the flood itself in this video. Now, we know that the purpose of Noah's flood was to deal with the awful states of sin that had spread to the whole human race. And there are three main aspects of the sinful condition that God was seeking to deal with by this miracle of judgment. We read, first of all, that a very strange verse in Genesis 6 verse 4, which says, The sons of God went to the daughters of humans and had children by them. They were the heroes of old, men of renown. Now we don't know what these verses really mean. There are many different theories. Some have thought that the sons of God could refer to angelic possession, people uh, being possessed by demonic powers and demonic interference. And then these people who were possessed, giving birth to um, men of renown that means people of great violence and fame and the earth was very violent at that time we don't know exactly what these verses mean but we do know that the earth was very violent in god's sight a second uh, reason or thing that god wanted to deal with was that he saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart uh, was only evil all the time. Sin had reached a level where it was the only obsession of the human race. Sin is addictive and obsessive. Even today, lust for money, sex and pleasure through substance abuse, alcohol, drugs, tobacco, or mental stimulation, videos, magazines, the internet, can be a dangerous drift and there is a need for the power of God to cut deep into the human heart and set us free from inner obsessive sins. A third aspect that um, was being dealt with by the flood was the very sad fact that the Lord regretted that he had made human beings on the earth and his heart was deeply troubled in Genesis 6 verse 6. God had put a question mark over the right of human beings to keep on living in a life of sin. Now, what could this flood mean? Obviously, it was simply an act of judgment. Uh, many think it was worldwide, others think it was more localised. But whatever it means, some have thought it could point forward to God's work of the Holy Spirit through Christ. When a man or a woman receives the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will wipe out the devil's interference in that life. That does not mean that people will never be troubled by the enemy, but the devil's foothold or stronghold in the life will be uh, drowned out. God drowns the work of Satan in the soul as he got rid of those old men of renown. Also, the receiving of the Holy Spirit, or the baptism in the Holy Spirit, if you like, delivers us from obsessive addictions. Uh, people are made new and no longer continually thinking evil all day long uh, and addicted and obsessed with particular sins. And thirdly, when the Holy Spirit comes, a person no longer has that question mark over their life that they can continue to live forever in sin but they are put uh, right with God and heaven is put within them uh, to prepare for when they die. It seems that God baptized the whole world under water. 
Peter refers to this in his letter. And it seems that God returned the, the whole world to its original condition at the first creation. God was making a new world. It only lasted for a while in the days of Noah, but it is a symbol that points forward to God's new creation. So to conclude, some think that the flood of Noah is a foretaste of pointing forward to the filling and receiving of the Holy Spirit where God drowns the work of Satan and sin in the soul and begins to make us into a new creation and a new person.